ChatGPT completely changed the landscape of so many different things. And one of those things which is really, really important to think about if you're navigating your career is software engineering versus data science. Since we have a tool, ChatGPT, that can code these things that can help software engineers or data scientists out, it's very, very important to consider how it affected both of those areas and what job you should choose because of that. We're basically in the post ChatGPT era. I know it's very funny, but like seriously, it shifted so many different things and we need to think about this. Now, one of the main ways that ChatGPT made the divide, simple data analysis is a lot easier than it used to be. In fact, pretty much anybody now can go and just learn some very, very simple Python syntax or even just a different language and force it to do some simple data analysis like transform columns, do group buys. Of course, you should know like basic SQL stuff. Otherwise, you wouldn't really know what you're capable of. But seriously, simple data analysis is very, very easy now. Visualization as well with simple graphs is great. It's still useful. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but it's a lot easier than before. However, data science as more of an AI role, whether you're a practitioner in say a bank or an insurance company, or all the way up to a top level researcher in open AI, these positions are still very difficult. You can use ChatGPT to help. However, it's not going to help as much. Software engineering, ChatGPT helps a lot with it, but it is definitely more of an aid than a just do it for you. For software engineering, I know because I'm building a full front end, back end, everything application going on. ChatGPT is a very useful tool if you know how to use it and when to use it. However, it's not going to automate all these things, like especially deployment of actually creating apps. There's no way that it's just going to be able to figure out all of these different bugs and deploy systems all by itself. Like it's just not going to happen anytime soon. So ChatGPT has completely changed the landscape between data science and software engineering roles because of this idea. Software engineering is still what, like it was. You still need the same people. However, it's easier to code now. Data science, there is now a bit of a split in it. Simple data analysis is a little bit easier, but it's getting more and more important as we've seen, you know, ChatGPT is an AI. Of course, companies are still seeing more and more results in actually deploying these AI systems. And of course, the machine learning researchers, uh, like that job is never going to go away. Like you can't remove the job of creating the next best system like someone has to create the next best system unless you possibly create a system that can do it by itself but that seems extremely unlikely and not in the near future at all and we're not even going to bother discussing that so software engineering i don't think the salaries are going to change that much because it's still going to be the same people they're still going to want computer science graduates from the top schools you're still going to want people that build projects and know what they're doing data science bit more of a shift here again simple data analysis is easier but there's going to be a lot more people people that are going into these types of roles, because as we see more AI development in companies, you know, they're going to hire more and more people. I don't think software engineering roles are going to change that much. Data science roles, however, I think are going to change a lot here where there's going to be more rookie people that are able to step into the simple data analysis stuff. A lot of companies, you know, maybe they don't actually need people that are absolutely masterminds of linear regression and statistical models and machine learning for the simple analysis stuff. They're okay with people that can just kind of force their way through ChatGPT and get some great visualization results. Business intelligence analysts, it is extremely important that you know what you're doing, both technically and of course, in the actual company, that's where they really shine. But that more sort of simple data analysis stuff, it's just not as hard as it used to be. It's going to be a lot more about understanding the company as a whole. Okay, okay, hold up, I should really make more of an emphasis on it's still the same skills as before the data analysis part of data science. It's just that ChatGPT can help you with the code. And it's getting better at doing it more for you, you should still learn all of the libraries like Python, Num Pi, pandas, Spark, you should learn all of that stuff. However, it's just less about memorizing the syntax and more about the inherent skills and techniques that you can do, which you still have to learn through the programming stuff. And you need to actually make sure that ChatGPT is writing the right thing. Otherwise, you know, if you're if you don't know the libraries, you don't know the code, then you're not going to be able to make it do the right thing. Okay, carry on. So software engineering, I don't think it'll change that much. However, data science, I see a little bit of a split now where we're really starting to think about what data science actually means in a company. And a lot of the time, you know, people are not sure what data science means. It's a big problem. It has been for a long time because some companies think that data science is the study of simple visualization, maybe some SQL like style stuff. And other people think it's the combination of doing that along with AI and machine learning stuff. I have always thought of it as machine learning because I want to teach something that actually, you know, is never going to go away is something that's changing the world every day. I don't want to teach just simple analysis stuff. And that's all it's ever going to be. Uh, it's still important. It's 
still something you're always going to need to do, but it's going to get automated more quickly and easier to do. And so people are really starting to think about what the heck data science actually means. And so it's going to be very important when you are applying for roles that you don't get the ones that are just going down in salary that are getting more and more easy to do this analysis stuff. And you're going to want to pick the more higher end stuff that are not impossible to achieve by any means. It's just you have to learn statistics and machine learning. I have a whole channel about this. Many people do. There's lots of materials online. You're going to see some tools that I uh, produce in the near future for how to do that effectively. You can absolutely do that. And I really hope that you're not alarmed by the fact that, you know, maybe these more higher end roles are going to be more of the more important ones right now because it's fun. Like, I mean, if it's not fun, then you really shouldn't do it. And you should do software engineering or something completely different. But if you actually start to learn machine learning and start to see what it is capable of, what companies are doing, what you're capable of doing on your own, what the open source communities are doing, it's just fantastic stuff. And it's getting better and better all the time. And there's going to be more and more of, you know, the research that people put out, people are going to have to conglomerate that and actually put it into applications and do fantastic things. And startups are going to come from, you know, these new ideas. And that's going to happen for a long time, possibly forever. It's a really fascinating field. And I'm really passionate about it. And I sort of in a way miss working on those types of things. And that's why I'm doing my own application as well. Mini rant over there, guys, I really don't want to scare you by saying the simple analysis stuff is getting automated, and it's getting easier. But like, this is kind of, you know, at least it was obvious to me, like, if you're doing simple stuff, transformation to a column or to a row, anything, if you do a simple tabular data stuff, I mean, of course, if all you're doing with that is some simple analysis, and there's no embedded application, there's no data engineering pipeline, there's no software platform. I mean, of course, that's going to get automated, like that's all you're going to be doing, you've got to move past that see what companies actually need, they need people that are more like software engineers that are able to deploy applications that are able to build pipelines that are able to, you know, build front end and back end communication, there's going to be a lot more of that in data science, there's going to be a ton of that in software engineering, as that's basically what it is. And guys, make sure that if you're thinking about being a data scientist, you don't rule out the possibility of being an AI researcher of being a high skilled practitioner in the area. Like I know that there's still a bunch of you out there that think for some reason that there's going to be a simple high paying data science role where you're just doing simple analysis and getting paid like 100k a year by a big tech company. I mean, it's possible, but it's just not likely because there's so much competition out there. Like many people have lost their jobs. And it's a sad and scary thing. But there's skilled people that have lost these jobs, you're fighting with them, you're fighting with yourself. And so keep getting better. But let's be honest, you're also fighting with the top of the top right now. And I don't want to scare you. I just want to encourage you if you're in this area, it's something that takes commitment. It's something that takes a lot of research, a lot of motivation, uh, you got to try and find that hopefully I'm giving that and not taking away from it, guys, you can do it. Like seriously, if you want to be a data scientist or a software engineer, you have to put in the work, you have to fight with the best of the best. And uh, I wish you the best of luck with that. Here's my basically overall opinion. Software engineering, it's going to look pretty similar. It's just that ChatGPT is really speeding things up. Maybe there's more jobs because ChatGPT is showing that more software engineering is possible in a quicker amount of time. Or maybe there's less because you need less, less people. Who knows? Data science, I'm seeing quite a split here where there's the simple analysis stuff, which is easier. It's getting more automated. And there's getting a, going to be a lot more roles in actually practicing AI. And of course, researching it is something extremely, extremely important right now. The salary is probably going to stay super high for the other, the high end for the easier stuff stuff, it's going to start to go down, it's just getting easier. And there's going to be more people that are able to think that they're able to do it because to be honest, they probably are. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later.